To them, uh, Babylon and Nari and the dig goal, you know? That's so last that week, concerned. Tuesday. Goal rush down, people? I, so last week, Tuesday, I bring in a tractor, right? To dig a 15 feet pit. When the tractor, when the, the gentleman reach about 10 feet, we realize that um, some gray dirt had come up. Right? Alright, so the gray dirt had come up and, you know, when we start dig up the dirt, we find some little, some little thing that kind of look like gold. We take a picture of it from Google, then it bring, it bring me straight, tell me say it's a pirate, it's a fool's, fool's gold and, you know. Anyways, we never really so excited about it and, but me frightened if you see people, like Wednesday me the woman, me only get a call, say people, they read the people, it's just too much. So it's it's a burden for the family. It now. is just me. It is because this just put me on pause. Because you know you had dig a pit when you had tried it before rain start falls, you fall up back your pit and all of them stuff. So, you know, it just overwhelming. As you can't see gold fine and nobody now war. Everybody live as well and I get peace, peace too, too, even a chunk. Even a bulk. From different communities. From different communities. People all over. We don't restrict nobody. Everybody has to man get them goal and make live in. Goal is a must in a man. We just need the top soil to move that we can able to go down further and claim what is there for us. Yeah, because it, it is there for us, so why we don't partake of it now? So you yeah. say you your finger said the deeper you go down. The deeper we go down inside here is better it is for us before the authority them come in and we can able to achieve it. So it's right about now. We have the upper hand where we can remove what is there for us. And the Lord bless you with it. I'm missing gold. So therefore, all we got to do is to work in peace and see what we can get. How you feel to know that gold finding just a castle? I feel good, man. Feel happy. back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience with it's simple me when a challenge occurs, don't get discouraged, stay focused. Delay only means you are in the process of clarifying and fine-tuning your desire. Life is about shifting through and sorting out who you are and what you want. Trials help you define what happiness and fulfillment really means to you. You must first have a problem to solve before you have the enjoyment of a solution. The unfolding is where miracles happen. Wagwan, my people, open body now, gate open body now, right? Yes, another morning, and I'm alive and well. Every day above ground is a blessing. How oh, awesome it is to be amongst the living, and surely, surely not amongst the dead. Always grateful for health, strength, and life. But anyway, impatience can be doubt in what you believe you deserve. When you are rushing the result, you miss out on the reason for the delay. What if you are being made to wait because what you asked for wasn't big enough? Hmm? Don't waste the in-between time worrying. Use it to request more. Everything you want plus more will manifest. The wait means you aren't done defining the fullness of your desire. Paper, me not stop preach to me too, Nina. You understand? Me talk to us is another. It might be already. But anyway, who and only percent thing I got like in the news? Police them clad too. And they come run gone from the scene. Here we go and pan we go on now. Me go take my time. Yes, and give you the news. I saw rich one that the ends and I could know what me know. But me can start right now at Clarendon. Car road boy here dies and go to door. Me know he ain't gonna look fine now. And guess what? The police in Clarendon are probing an incident in which a man died after he heard sounds outside his house and went to investigate in the wee hours yesterday morning. Yes, people. The man has been identified as 47 year old Giovanni Parkinson, otherwise called Orain, from Parker's Hall District in Clarendon. Report reaching on news seems that about 2 30 a.m. Parkinson was at home with all her relatives when they heard sounds as if someone was outside. He went to make checks and shortly after, 
family member reportedly heard him shout as it was in distress. The door was open and saw Parkinson crawling up to the front veranda, blooded. Hold on there. Oh, they don't hear the gunshot. You think them are people easy? I go to lay them set it up. See what I said? I mean, what I said? No, I'm already at now. Take it back. He reported it became unresponsive shortly after. Right after time, drag up to the door. You know? Remember, I said, I'm hearing a gunshot. Then just hear, <gasps> that's all them here. The police were summoned, and on the arrival, the body of the now deceased was seen blooded and on the front veranda of the home, clad in a white polka dot shirt and a brown cut off foot pants. But there's a people. The shirt is full of blood. You understand? You know, you're supposed to wonder how the people have hear the sound, but they don't hear the shot. Member, member, good. And I got alone can kill people. The police said Parkinson had a chop wound to his head, upper body, and hands. He was pronounced dead right past Pat. Can remember say a dead man then come go see the people? The man then put on them gun and they walk and then cut last and then knife. You understand? And fixing business. Me don't know him involved for that because the people them not talk. Anyway, man, they film a gun. I remember said the client that man took over a bundle from the other day, you know. So no, so don't they again. Hot, 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 hot. Two Chinese nationals received major injuries following a brazen robbery attempt and attack by gunmen on Kendall Road in Mandeville Monday. Head of the Manchester Police Superintendent Big Fu Fu Shane McCullough confirmed the incident to our new team. He said police investigators believe the gunmen were after cash being transported by Mr. Chin and Mr. Chin. Yes, people, that is what one. The gunmen tried to stop the vehicle. We believe they were after an undetermined sum of money in the vehicle. The Chinese national reportedly sped off, at which time the gunmen opened fire on the vehicle. Remember inside it I come from you know. So the people them are working with Mr. Chin Tell them gunman friends to watch the man. This are the money them are moving. Go and go get it. The Chinese National reported grace and treated the hospital. Superintendent McCullough is appealing to the business people and the citizens to remain vigilant and use security arrangement to transport large sum of money. Remember the people them don't trust you know. The people them not trust you know. Cause you not take for yourself. You know see a man. We set up people for rob them. Yeah, things so I wanna know that. Anyway, now people, make I move on. Right up a guy's in my gun. The guys in police in St. Catherine are searching for a gunman who shot and injured a cook shop operator on Monday. It's reported about 4 a.m. The man went to his place of business to start preparing a meal. Remember, you know, people forget them little breakfast, a little fried dumpling, a little cabbage, a little colour without saltfish and them little thing there. Yeah, man, a little 15 and a bag dumpling. Yeah, people have to run go go buy them fast, 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 fast. That is why I'm coming out so early. He was at the rear of the premises when an explosion was heard. He was later found suffering from gunshot wound to his upper body. The injured man was rushed to the hospital where he's been admitted. Him not dead. Matter of fact, he's probably not dead yet. Anytime you get some more information from this, I wonder. Me, I got to tell you now. But look at big dirty thinking in the come them now. Yeah? But then gone right down as well. Let me tell you which part of them gone. Indicom say it has responded to and commenced investigation into two separate fatal shooting incidents by the police on the weekend. The incident results in the death of two men of unsound mind. Garrett Mitchell was fatally shot on January 7 in Montego Hills and 34-year-old Travis Warren was fatally shot on January 8 in Coral Garden. Both incidents occur in the parish of St. James. In a press release yesterday, Indicom said investigation involved in the process of incidents seen, witness, canvassing, and interview of the concerned officers. These concerned officers will be required to provide a statement and or attend the Office of the Commission to be interviewed under Section 21 of the Indicom Commission of Investigation Act of 2010. Yes, people, Mr. one power go on. The release further note from the account provided both incident involved a request of a police response due to reports of attack by men of unsound mind in their community. In each incident, the now deceased men allegedly held onto the firearm of a responding officer. Other officers present at the scene discharged their firearm in the direction of the men. Both men were transported to guess which hospital people? Cornell and Regis Hospital to go lay down pan ice. But anyway, let me tell you what for incident now. In the incident, Montego Bay Hills, Mitchell was confirmed by his family members to suffer from mental illness. It is alleged that the police went in pursuit of Mitchell due to report of unlawful wounding and destruction of property. During which, guess what happened, people? Mitchell held onto the M16 rifle of a police and bite him. Yes, other members of the responding team discharged their weapon in the direction of Mitchell. In Coral Guard incident, listen to the German and this incident and our paper can it's a police and if you get kicked out of the force. In the Coral Guard incident, Travis Amman of Unsound Mind allegedly attacked and chopped a woman, resulting in a report to the police. During the law enforcement response, it is reported that one of the officers was discharged of his service pistol by Travis. Yeah, Travis is not a madman. Travis is a bad man. Other members of the team reacted by discharging their weapon at Travis. Another person was shot and injured. All injured person was taken to right up the hospital. You understand? Who forgot ice? Go ice? 
And who forget treated, get treated. People are wondering for the real list, so me just say. Yes, the squad make madman take away him gun. The madman nearly clapped with all of them, you know. Anyway, squad your friend them need to go back to training school. Anyway, Assistant Commissioner of Police Clifford Chambers said Era 1 Police Division has seen a reduction in major crime. Yes, that team said for the start of the year. No matter talk too quick. Don't talk too quick, you understand? Because you know said the gunman them see this, they must start creating mayhem. And not only that, there have been some major recoveries as well. All of the divisions in Era 1 have since recovered illegal firearm and uh, ammunition and have since made some, some, some very good arrests. It is one of the factors that is giving us the results that we're getting, no doubt about that. But again, it's not the only policing tactics that we're using. I don't want persons to think that it is the only one, but it provided us with the kind of legalistic latitude that we want. But other methods are also being used. We're targeting wanted persons in the same way. We're making some very good arrests with evidence. 